haven't been live in quite a while. It's been a rough month for me. April is not a happy time for me. But I am back and I figure it's time to get back to chalking. So today I'm going to be using the lovely Aiden board, which I love, love, love. It's the vintage one that looks like it's all got these little scuffed up marks. It looks fairly old and love that surface. Make sure I got it lying down right. Always double check where your hangers are or you've got to add more than that. And I'm going to use, I have so many transfers to use and I have a new shipment that's showing up. Hopefully today's Thursday, so probably next week. Um, and I got lots of good stuff coming in. All the newbies. It's going to be awesome. So today though, I'm going to be working on the bicycle that's built for two with the cute better together that goes with it. And then I had some little hearts that went with it too. I'm not sure where I set those right now, but I didn't really like the hearts. So I'm leaving those out, but that's what I'm going to go with today. So for any of you that don't know who I am, I am the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick. My name is Angie. And uh, I'm a independent designer with Chalk Couture. Oh, and I just got to say, I am pretty stinking happy. Um, despite April not being a great month for me, like, you know, personally, um, it has been a great month business-wise. Um, I am up to five designers that have joined my team, and I am so thrilled to have them. Um, I see Peggy is watching. Hi, Peggy, and hi, Paul. I'm just going to move my holder here because I can't see the comments very good. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I've got, I'm up to five designers on my team. So proud of them. They've all started with the awesome starter kit that was $129, and that got their business a rock. And from there, they'll have a website and everything to direct people to. So I'm pretty stinking happy about that. Hi, Laurie. So anyways, I'm going to get moving on with this. That was my happy news. Um, so chalk couture transfers, for those that don't know, they are like a stencil, but they are reusable. They come already with an adhesive back and where there's usually a hole, it's a silk screen and I'm stumbling on my words again. It's a silk screen, which is really, really cool. It gives you really good details. And like I said, they're reusable. So after I use them with the chalk paste, I'm simply going to rinse them down with cool water or cold water. Um, and let them dry and then they are good to go again. They say they're good for 8 to 12 times and um, No, no, I can get usually a good 20 if not more times out of it. So Got a little bit of dust there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off the transfer I have labeled the backs because I don't want to apply it. I don't know if you can see that my writing on there but um, you, when you're reapplying them, you don't want to stick it to the paper side. You want to stick it to the glossy side. And sometimes when you're in a rush, you make that mistake. So always label it the back. And I'm just going to stick it down on my surface. Now this one happens to be a chalk couture surface. And, um, but you can really use it on wood. You can use it on metal. You can use it on glassware. You can use it on fabric. You can use it on like anything and everything. I've done my dishwasher. I've done my stove with some cute transfers. I've done buckets that are metal. I've done wooden signs that I've made myself. I've done that, of course, on the chalk couture surfaces, which look like chalkboards, but they're like an awesome porcelain finish on them. They're, they're incredible. They really are the easiest one to work with, but you can use them on anything. I've done fabric where I've inked on them because Chalk Couture has ink as well. I'm just in love with how easy this is and I'm going to show you how easy it is right now. So I did fuzz it because these come very, very sticky and it's just easier to work with if you add a tiny bit of fuzz to the back of them. We have fuzzing towels. It's a terry cloth on one side and a microfiber on the other, um, which is great for cleaning them and stuff as well. But if you don't have one and you just want to try this out, and you don't want to do the huge investment of buying the, you know, this and that and all the extra little gadgets that are handy, but you could just use your terry cloth towels. And it works just fine. Okay, so just applying it down, making sure there's no big bubbles in the silk screen area itself. If there's little bubbles under the green part, we're not too worried about that. All right, so color-wise, somebody want to help me out. What color should my bicycle be? 
these are the colors I have handy to me right now. I've got a pretty yellow, which is called buttermilk. We have a few yellows, so I had to check. Uh, we have the wisteria purple. We have the forget me not blue. And of course, I have the peony pink. Anybody want to help me out on which color I should do my bicycle? Just pick a color. Please and thank you. Hi, Rosalind. I'm asking people to pick a color for me to, to do my bicycle. I'm doing the bicycle built for two. And I just need to know what color to do my bicycle. I'm going to go ahead with the silver while I'm waiting you for you guys to say... No red. Oh yeah, I don't have red in here. It must be out in the shop. I never even thought about red. Red is not one of my typical favorite colors, but that, yeah, it would have looked cute. Purple, we're saying blue. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead with the silver part. And you guys brainstorm what other color I should be doing. So, obviously on a blackboard, I can't use black for the seats and the handlebars. So I'm just going to do silver all that. Just because it'll be sparkly and cute. I can use a bigger squeegee. Got a mini squeegees are a good size, but then when it comes to the fine details, it's just kind of nice that I've cut one down in smaller. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I am fumbling here big time because I said you guys could choose the color of my um, bike and not even thinking, I just did it silver. It's a silver bicycle. The whole stinking thing's gonna be silver. It's still gonna look cute, but it's not what I was going for. Not at all. This is just not my day. I don't even know why I did that. I meant to do all the spokes on the bike in silver. I know, I just started anyways. If I don't like it though, it's chalk paste, so it just comes off. I spritz it down with water and it'll come right back off. So it's not a huge deal, but it was not my plan. I am sorry. I do value your opinion. I was not being rude and ignoring you. And just, well, I'm just absent minded today. I got no excuse for this. So, silver bicycle it is, anyways. So we're just applying a good layer and because I'm not working in fine detailed areas now and not working with multicolors, I can just quickly lay it on and then peel it off. So I'm putting the paste on and then I'm just scraping back the excess. Easy peasy to do. Have any of you used um, chalk paste and, and chalk couture stuff yet? Have you tried it? Did you like it? Um, I have some people that say they are not crafty at all and so they didn't think they'd be good at it and they have bought the little try me kit off of me and they're actually amazed by how easy it is because it is simple like I did miss a spot but it is so simple like my daughter does it my granddaughter does it um, yeah they're having fun with it um, I'm gonna get out some of those little tags at some point my little round chocolate chips and I think I'm gonna make a memory game for the kids they can they can actually chalk paste on it with our little miniature um, transfers and then it does look really cute in silver gotta say it was not the plan but it looks stinking cute um, and then they can do matching ones and then when you flip them over they can make their own matching game I just thought it'd be fun for them especially during COVID. There we go. There's the bicycle. See, it does look cute in silver. It's very pretty. Wasn't the plan, but there it is. All right. So now the words. We've got a silver bike. I could just strictly do silver, which would be really cute and classy. Or I could add some color. But I think I'm going to stick with all silver now that I've gone this far. Just going with the flow here. And like I said, if you change your mind after, all you do... Oh, I did not fuzz that one. It might be hard to get off. Let's get it off right now before I press it down too good. 
If you don't fuzz them, they don't last as long because the stickiness, like it really, really sticks to the surface. So it's better to get that layer of fuzz on there first, just with the terry cloth. All right, and I'm just gonna lie it on there. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Grab my squeegee again. I'm gonna take my silver chalk paste and just apply it. You can just throw it on there and then we'll squeegee back the excess after. So basically you're just making sure you don't have to cover the whole green area, just the silver silk or the, the silk screen area, which kind of looks silver even without the silver on it. But anyways, just cover the silk screen. And then scrape back the excess because I'm frugal and you don't want to waste it. This bottle, I would say I'm down to probably a quarter of it left. And I have been using the same bottle since August. And I use silver on a lot, so it goes a long ways if you're cautious to pick up your excess and put it back. So yeah, has anybody tried Chalk Couture? I just think it's so much fun. And then you just peel it off. I'm gonna stick it to the table and afterwards I'm just gonna lie it down in the sink. I'm gonna rinse down the sink, make sure it's just got a layer of water on there. Lay it down and I take a sponge. We call them board erasers. We have specific round ones. I don't have one handy, of course, still right at the sink. And we just wash it down and it comes perfectly clean. And then I leave it with the sticky side up on the counter on a towel. And when that's dry, I stick it back onto the backer sheets and I can use them over and over and over again. And there it is. So if you were doing a cute present and like say you're going to a birthday and you did not pick up a present, you could do one of these very, very quickly for them. Just saying. Bam. Done. That's it. That's all. I think that's actually really pretty. Silver was not what I was going for, but I love how it turned out. I think it's awesome. It's very classy looking. <laughs> Anyways, that is it, that is all. I just wanted to share my little quick chalk project. It was supposed to be, you know, multi-colors and all that fun stuff, but it's plain silver because I got chatty and got distracted and well, it's silver. Anyways, that's it, that's all. I'm gonna say goodbye, I'm not gonna hold you up. Um, unless anybody had any questions or anything, you can pop them down in the comments and I will answer them. And even if you're watching on the replay, you can give me a hashtag replay and just say that you're watching and any questions, just post them in there and I will be quick to respond or, you know, as quick as I can be. Usually within 24 hours, I'm definitely responding. Um, and I will be back on probably one more time today, if not a couple times, because I have so many transfers that I want to use and get done and I have all new product coming in probably next week so yeah yeah I got a lot to do <laughs> anyways that is that one for now talk to you guys later probably do some just as videos and posts too um, and not go live for absolutely everything but anyways we'll see as we go Thank you for watching. Love you all. Hope you're all keeping safe and nobody's sick. Fingers crossed. This all ends very, very soon. And um, thank you so much. Okay. Bye, guys.